Hello everyone. Today I'm going to focus on Video Express and Talking Photos. Now, what I'm going to be looking at exactly is how to add pauses to the character's conversation when you're using text-to-speech. Um, I like to have some lead-in time, dramatic pauses, conversational speaking, and lead-outs. And I'll explain to you what all of those are. Um, here, for instance, I have something uh, that one of my characters is going to say. It says, hello, my name is Norman. Now, you can add a little bit of a pause by adding a comma here. And he'll say, hello, my name is Norm. And you'll see that takes about one second. We're actually going to run it just so that you can see. Actually, it's two seconds because I added the comma. So now you have hello. He pauses for a split second. Then he says, my name is Norm. A couple of issues here for me. I like to have a little bit of lead time in my videos. So when the video starts, I don't want the character to start speaking immediately. I like to have a little bit of time so that the video can, the viewer can see the character first before they start talking. So I call that lead in. There's also dramatic pauses. So for instance, um, the character might say something, and then you, you want the character to pause. Normally, a comma does that, but if you want a slightly longer pause, I'm going to show you how you can do that, too. The other thing is conversational speaking. That is, when one, co when one character speaks and the other one is listening, and then the other character speaks and the first one is listening. So in order to be able to do that, normally you have to record it all in separate pieces and then put it all together, um, which can be long because uh, having to film, let's say they, they go back and forth three or four exchanges, that means you have to film each character three or four times, and that can be long. Um, so uh, with this method I'm going to show you, you're going to be able to get around that and film the whole character in one shot and the other character in one shot, and you'll be able to have that space in between when they're speaking. Last thing is what I call leadouts. And leadouts is because at the very end of the recordings, a lot of time it cuts right at the last word. And then you have the same thing like when you start a video. When it ends, there's no time at the end. And a lot of times I find myself having to take a screen capture of the character and attach it to the end and, and stretch it out for a certain number of seconds. It, it's just extra work for nothing. So using this method that I'm going to show you, you're going to be able to add all these extra times in wherever you want, and it's going to make you more efficient, and it's going to make it sound better. And the other thing that's cool about this is it also works in talking photos. Um, obviously, they're probably using the same system, so it's going to work there as well, and I'll show you that in the video as well. So the secret to getting this to work and I'm going to add one right here at the beginning. Now look at the time. It says two seconds. But if I add this in, if I add in the word break, like this, and now I import the speech, okay, it still only says two seconds because this only adds a little bit of time. But let's say I wanted to give it a longer lead time. So all you have to do is just do this. Now watch when I import the speech. It's going to go from two seconds to six seconds. So each one of these added probably slightly less than a second. So it wasn't enough with one just to, to see the difference here. But now there's actually a six second lead in. I'm going to copy paste this here between the hello and the, na and the my name is Norm and show you how much time it is now. Now it's up to 11 seconds. And if I do it one more time, and I put it here at the end, it goes up to 15 seconds. So now, if you listen to this, Hello. My name is Norm.
and it's done. So now you've taken this little two second or one second clip that we had at the beginning and you've changed it into 15 seconds. So now I would have my lead in. So before the character starts speaking, you have a couple of seconds before it starts. He says, hello. And let's say for another character answered him back saying, oh, hi, how are you? He would have been listening at that point and not talking. Then he says, my name is Norm. Then you could have more time here. And then you could add more text. You could keep doing this all the way down. I call that conversational speaking, where the characters might be going back and forth. And all you have to do is just time it correctly. Um, give it enough time so that the characters have enough time to say something in between each one. Normally, when they speak, it's only going to be a second or two. You can add the right number of breaks in between. They can even talk over each other a little bit, if, ne if necessary, to make it sound more natural. And then at the very end, once he says, my name is Norm, you have a couple of seconds here, maybe three seconds at the end, where he's not saying anything. And that allows me to then cut the video at the very end. I'm not, it's not cutting off the last word, which happens quite often. And it sounds natural. And this solves a whole lot of headaches by being able to add in this break feature. Now, I came across this because I've used it in other um, software. And it's not written the same way, but I try, did a lot of um, you know, trial and error. And I finally found the code that actually works um, to create these pauses. Um, I'm going to come over here to talking videos. And you can see I have one here that I started setting up already. And I'm going to remove them just for now. I'm going to import the speech. I'm going to play the audio. Hi, it's John from Jojo Massa here. I want to let you know that there are some big. Okay, so you see it's five seconds for that little clip. So if I go in here now, and I do the same thing I did in the other video, or in the other application, I should say. And I say, import the speech. It was five seconds before. Now it's 23 seconds. Hi, it's John from Jojo Massa here. I want to let you know that there are some big. Now, this was part of a video that I did introducing some big changes that I had coming. And one of the things I want you to notice is my company's name is Jojo Masu, J-O-J-O-M-A-S-U. -J -J but I spelt it like this so that the pronunciation would be correct. You can do the same thing in your videos as well. Sometimes you have a word... Um, especially if it's a brand name or something that's not coming out quite right, you can just change the way that it's said. Sometimes I even do it like this when I, when I do a French video so that it says Jojo Masu, and it sounds correct. So basically you got two tips there. Number one is how to add breaks to your uh, text-to-speech, and number two is how you can change the pronunciation of certain words by spelling them out um, the way they might sound so that your character will say them in the way that it sees it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that it was informative. I hope that I gave you something that's going to be useful and uh, keep on creating. Hi. If you're seeing this right now, it's because you've reached the end of this tutorial video. Show some love by liking and subscribing to this channel for more great tutorials.